Shelter Network helps homeless families on the peninsula get rapidly rehoused after they experience an episode of homelessness. These are typically families with children that become homeless after they experience a financial emergency, a layoff, a medical problem, unfortunate incidents that come up in everyone's lives. At Haven Family House, they have quite a large lot. It was completely overgrown with thistles and weeds. As my colleagues and I stood in the vacant lot, we thought it would be great to have some sort of a garden or an additional play area here. And as we chatted, we realized we were about a mile as the crow flies from Sunset Magazine. And we thought, wow, a partnership with Sunset Magazine and maybe some other companies and individuals, we could really do something neat with this space. When Amy called me, I thought it was a perfect fit for us. Sunset's located in Menlo Park. This project's in Menlo Park. It's a great way to give back to the community. We can get the residents involved and working in the garden. More, here's more gloves out there. Amy brought all sorts of materials in. It was a huge amount of people that really were involved and helped out. We grew into a core group of planners that eventually encompassed over 30 companies and over a thousand volunteer hours and donations of a hundred thousand dollars to build an organic garden in about four months time. Amy's vision for the garden was something unique that we had never considered before and just the efforts that she put into making this all come to fruition and getting a lot of groups from the area to come together um, to help this as a benefit for our families in need. So we just have to gently turn the soil like this. Watch out, you might see some worms. Gross. Ew. <laughs> you just turn the soil like that. The garden is a great opportunity for families to learn about nutrition, where food comes from, and to have fresh fruits and vegetables. I know, I don't think there's This garden is the garden that grows vegetables, and that this is where we eat out of sometimes. And we're all having fun, planning them. You know, it looks nice and stuff. Something for the kids to come and do and look at. Especially, all kids like being in dirt, too, so. <laughs> Cut the top off and wash it off. This fun. It's a great idea to come here and pick, to pick radishes in all. I'd love to think that going forward, the garden is going to continue to bring people together. People that live here that are experiencing a tough time in their lives, they're going to have access to a beautiful spot that's also very nurturing from a nutritious point of view, maybe a peaceful place that they can relax. So the power of people helping people, I think, in my mind, says a lot about the sustainability of our community.